Hello everyone, Admiral Seabass here with UK turn number two in uh, Global Access and Allies 1940. Here's my purchases on the Europe map. Um, with the change in the strategic boundary that Germany did in G2 to make it correct, now I only have five damage on my factory and four on my air base. So I'm not going to fix that. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and buy that factory for Persia, a tank for South Africa, and three guys. Probably one for London and two for Canada. And with the FEC, on the Pacific map, I'm going to buy a fighter because I'm going to send one of my fighters up to Russia. And then I'm going to buy two mechs. So those are my purchases. And uh, now let's go over here. I only have one combat move, and that's here. Um, I'm going to try to wipe out these boats with Italy. So we're going to take the fighter from Malta, and we're going to take the destroyer. One, two. Thought about bringing that destroyer, but decided against it because I need a transport shuck here from Quebec for now, and I need that destroyer to guard these transports. So, because uh, that Italian uh, bomber could hit them pretty easily. So there's our move. So that's going to be a pretty easy one to roll. Um, so let's go ahead and grab these. And uh, we'll leave the transport there. Come over to the battle board. Right here. So there's a destroyer. There's a destroyer. There's a guy. Oh, plane. So Britain gets a blue die, which is three or less, and a green die, which is two or less. Just looking for one hit. Got it. So we will move that back. And then Italy gets the two or less back. And they got a hit. So um, we'll lose the destroyer. Come back over here. Go ahead and fly the plane back to Malta. So I just took out two boats, traded two, one uh, UK boat for one Italian boat. And I'll take that, you know, because I just uh, limited, uh, I just took a transport out uh, for Italy and another one of their destroyers. So they're down to three boats now. And uh, I'll take that at this point, especially with uh, the Germans being able to build Navy down here. I, I got to keep one on away at Italy. So I will take that. So let's do our non-combat moves now. Um, so what we're going to do is this guy is going to go back. So that's a naval base, so he can go one, two, three. And then this guy can bring these two down to here. One, two, three. And actually, you know what? Do I want to? Do I even want to take that other transport back there? Is the question. Or do I want to keep it here so that I could use them? You know what? Let's keep that here. So that could be a threat next term to Italy. Uh, I'm going to move one guy up here like this to block Alexandria. Uh, these guys are all going to move up, so the tank will go one, two, and all these guys will move up there. Moving closer to Ethiopia. Oops, this guy got flipped over. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and move... No, we'll keep that the same. Um, I'm going to move a fighter. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, up to there. And let's see. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, 
thought about... Yeah, hang on, let me, let me think about this. Okay, you know what? I am going to... Um, I'm going to move this guy here. I want to take these just in case I need a place to land, a place to retreat to, a place to stage. A place to stage. I'm going to move that guy up there and take that. So, um, and then I think... I'm going to move this guy back down here just to be a force projection down in this area down here. I'm going to put two more mechs down. I guess one of those could get on that transport if necessary. So uh, I think that's it. So I think that's all the non-combat moves. I thought about going up and taking Greece. What would, would you guys have done that? Um, would you guys have wasted a transport potentially on its own and taking Greece with a couple of those guys? I did not. I, I just don't want to thin myself out in Egypt in particular until I can get rid of more Italian Navy. But uh, I don't know what you guys think about that, but I decided against it. So let's go ahead and place units now. Uh... All three of these guys are going to go on London. Right there. It's going to make a sea lion pretty tough. I got uh, C7, 10, 12 infantry, two fighters, four anti aircraft. Um, I don't know. Germany could, could try it. They still got a lot of air force to support that. Um, but we'll see. Uh, tank and the factory factory is going to go here and the tanks going to go down here in South Africa so for FEC two mechs and a fighter all are going to go in India chose mechs because they can get up here to the front faster because I think Japan's going to go to war with me next turn so let's see what we're doing here in terms of collect income um, they both got wartime economy so that's 30 for they both spent all their money so that's 30 for UK plus a die roll Let's see what that is. Huh. One buck. <laughs> Congrats. You got an extra buck. And then FEC, who spent all their money as well, they get 17 plus a buck. Wow. Congratulations. I bet you feel really good about spending... Uh, hang on. That's 10. 15. 17 and 18. But they spend really, feel really good about spending that wartime economy tech roll now, don't they? But anyway, that's uh, UK and FEC uh, turn number two. This is Admiral Seabass signing off.